Restricting the U.S. and Mexico border, President Biden taking action today to curb asylum processing. Our Tara Molina joins us live from the newsroom. And Tara, you've been looking into whether this will impact the people who've already arrived in Chicago from the border. That's right, Marie and Jim, and I've learned it will not affect the people already here in Chicago, but I'm told we could see changes here moving forward. I'm moving past Republican obstruction and using the executive authorities available to me as president to do what I can on my own to address the border. President Biden unveiling a long-anticipated executive action meant to control the number of migrants illegally crossing the border. Today, I'm announcing actions to bar migrants who cross our southern border unlawfully from receiving asylum unless they seek it after entering through an established lawful process. So what does the action change? It means immigration officials can deport migrants at the border without processing their asylum claims once the number of border crossings goes over 2,500 a day. For perspective, back in May, Border Patrol was averaging 3,800 crossings daily. It will remain in place until the number of crossings has dropped below 1,500 for two weeks. For cities like Chicago and, and, and you know, more not bordering cities is that if we stop the, the flow coming into the country, then it should have a triple effect of not many individuals moving into Chicago. Hector Quiroga is an immigration attorney with offices across the country. He's working with people in Chicago right now, telling me virtually this move has been long anticipated, will be contested, and will make his job more difficult, but says it's also timely on the president's part. Where the president is just trying to do an executive action now, right before election, to be able to say to, to his base, look, I was staff on immigration. This, this is not good for immigrants. So immigrant and pro-immigrant groups are saying, that's not what you promised. But he's very motivated, we believe, because of the election and what's, what's coming up. Unaccompanied children are exempt from this executive action, officially in effect after midnight. The ACLU has already gone on the record. They will challenge this action in court. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Tara Molina. CBS 2 News. Tara, thank you.